Mickey B right here on Madhouse TV on Mickey B's Jukebox Review and Frankie D from Florida has arrived right here in the studio. Sure did Mickey but my arms are a little tired from the flight <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> <laughs> well Frankie let me tell you something we have a show that is just outrageous you know most of the time we had singing groups that were up here but today we're going to feature one of the greatest writers uh, A&R guys owner of a, a couple of record companies and of course his friends. Today we're going to be featuring one of the greatest writers of all time, Billy Dawn Smith. And Billy Dawn, pleasure to see you here on the Mickey B. Jukebox Review. Same here, Mickey. Welcome, 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 Billy Dawn Smith, to your show. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me say this. We have a little picture of something that probably got you started off in the business <laughs> called the Billy uh, Dawn Quartet. Let's take a look at that shot there and tell us a little bit about those guys, Billy. You're going to see it come up on your screen right now. Take a look at that. And of course, it was made up of four guys. Who are those guys? That's my brother in the front. That's Tommy. Right. And that's me next. Uh huh. That's my best, one of my best friends and his best friend, Bill Carey's best friend, Donnie Siesta. Okay. And the other one is one of our best friends too, Sonny Benton, the, to me, the great, great, great bass. Yeah. Say, uh, yeah. Let me also introduce some of your friends that are here today. Bill Carey, who is uh, currently with the uh, the Dan Lairs. That's right. We and, just started uh, back over again. Yeah, you started over again. And I was with them for over 20 years. Huh? Yeah, I know that. I know that. And Richard Green. Uh, uh, yeah, Richie Green with Shells, Continental, Willows, currently with the Dan Lairs. And currently with the Dan Lairs as well, right? <laughs> Billy Dawn Smith, tell me a little bit about your history. You were a legend in this business as a... A fantastic writer. We're going to talk about the songs that you did write. Tell me a little bit. Uh, you get started where? Uh, you grew up in what area? Uh, I'd say Bedstuy. Bedford Stuy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd say yeah because I grew up mostly in in Kingsboro. But I was singing. I was singing before I was in Kingsboro. I sang gospel, you know, against the Charlie Story All Stars. Which is who's the who was the father of the Story Sisters that's still living now, uh -huh. and uh, the Brooklyn Crusaders, which was um, uh, Milt Grayson, who was in Bubbling Brown Sugar, and right. all of that, and Scotty and them. To me, they were the greatest gospel group up here, and the Chicago Crusaders was the greatest group down there in Chicago. So I used to love them battling each other. Now you moved to Queens, yeah. right? And which part of Queens? Jamaica. Jamaica, uh -huh. Jamaica, Queens, 107-40, 159th Street. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. Before you get to Brooklyn, New York, where you meet a lot of your friends, a lot of writers and, and future owners of record labels, when did you uh, discover this writing talent that you had? I don't know. I think I was born with it, really, because I was, do you know, I was doing... When I used to sing on the, uh, at the Church of God in Christ on Buffalo Avenue and Bergen Street... Uh, I'd say when I was seven, six and seven years old, so, uh -huh. yeah, and uh, we were the Junior Four, known as the Junior Four, so we, you know, we... we Billy got there. run over yeah. by a car, and he's been writing ever since. Ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice picture of Billy Dawn Smith by himself. Take a look at this little picture. But I did get run over by a car. <laughs> <laughs> no, Billy. seriously, right? Take a look at this picture we got of you here, a single picture of you, with Billy Dawn Smith and... Uh, Let's take a look at that, Billy. How old were you at that picture, Billy? Oh, my God. That, that, that's not too... That's that not wasn't too long ago. No, not you yesterday. Don't even recognize it, says, <laughs> it says 1994 yeah. up here. 1994. <laughs> that's what it says. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. 1994, that's what it says. So that's, 
that's how many years ago? That was like a, uh, a couple of years 18, back. Yeah. About 18 years back. My, my yeah, math because, was uh, good. Yeah. 18? Because <laughs> um, uh, Jimmy died Billy, in 93. Yeah. Billy, tell me about Who? Jimmy, Jimmy Weston. Weston. Oh. Yeah, he died in 93. Yeah, oh. we're going to show a little picture of that later on with Jimmy Weston with us on, on, the, on the show and, of course, a clip. But, Billy, you... Uh, and you go to Brooklyn, New York, right? Mm -hmm. And you, how do you put the, the quartet together? I don't know exactly how, but, but we all knew each other, and, and we all knew each other could sing, you know? Mm -hmm. And my brother, he was a master at, at, at music, man. He played like, Yo, uh, Jake. he played about 14 instruments, so, mm -hmm. yeah, my brother, yeah, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah, he was a master. Tell us a couple of songs. You said, what was the label at the, uh, that you started on, the Billy Gunn? Decatur? Uh, yeah, it was a Decatur Records. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that label. Well, Decatur was, it, uh, I think the guy, I forget his name now, but I think he still has Firefly and, and, those, and those companies. But actually, that song was done in a record shop. That song was done right across from the Hotel Teresa. Mm -hmm. That's where that song was done. And, and uh, he was a Holmes, too. His name was Horace. I think his name was Horace Holmes. And he uh, he owned the record shop there, and this I, I can't I still can't remember the name of the guy that that had Decatur, but uh, I th I think oh actually I think Al Brown I mm -hmm. I think Al Brown got us into that into that did he get you into I that I think he got us into that now game. Al Brown we got a little picture of Al Brown right here but let, let's let's take a look at that picture of Al Brown because Al Brown was your pianist right. And also part, he could have been part of, that was Al Brown, right? Mm -hmm. Is that Al? No. Well, if it's not Al, it looks close like Al. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who is that then? He's the impersonator. No, that was not. No. You know what? <laughs> Al was much smaller. That's Al. Yeah, that's Al later on. <laughs> that's, no, it's not. No? That's, no. you know what Al Brown that is? That's Al Brown from Baltimore. That's Al Brown that made the Madison the record the Madison and, and well, Baltimore. we ain't wrong we at least got Al Brown up you there. got Al Brown <laughs> no but but that's his he had a big man uh-huh Al Brown he had a he, 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 yeah remember the, the, the record the Madison yes yeah. yes yeah, sure. it was great dance, from that. a big boss line yes. and, yeah. 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 Madison yeah. that was that yeah. Al Brown both sides but let me ask right. you about the Al Brown that played with you now he goes on to form a record label uh called Joyce right no, he didn't own Joyce. Oh, the, uh, Joyce was was owned by. Uh, I'm trying to think. They had a, dis a dis distribution company. It was A and B, Alpha Beta Records or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I think Johnny Hanlaka was 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 um, one of them, and the little guy that owned. I, I can't even think. I can't think of his name now. But that that was Joyce. They. But what did Al Brown do with Joyce Records? He was their producer. He was the producer over there. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And so Al Brown, tell us how he meets he, he the didn't, press. By his wife. By his wife. Yeah, his wife heard him singing, and, and, they, and she gave him a card uh -huh. to, uh, uh, to come over there and say, well, come meet my husband. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that. So, and they did. And they did. Yeah. Now, Al Brown sees the crest. Now, was that with uh, uh, Luther Vandross's sister at the time? Pat. Patty was yes. she part of that group at yes. the time? Yes. So it was her and the and the yeah. uh, three other guys. Yeah. Right, but not Johnny Maestro. Not Johnny yet. Not yet. No, but he came right. He he came right along. Johnny was out there singing somewhere, mm -hmm. and J T. Carter heard him singing right. and asked him about how would you like to to you know join and sing in a group, right? And he said, yeah, man, you know, so that was... And, and the other guys was, was uh, Go was in there, last name Go, and Torres was another guy in the group, right? Yeah. The uh, uh, um, uh, they were in... Yeah, and Pat. And yeah, Pat. And Pat, yeah. So now he has this group ready to go. How does... And you're involved there with, with him. No, not yet. Not I, yet. I, I, I knew... I didn't even know them yet. Okay. But but I knew that, that Al's wife brought them. See, Al called me in on everything. I don't care what it was because because <laughs> he wanted me to halfway produce the stuff. But when I heard Johnny Maestro do Sweetest One and and uh, and uh, my Juanita, yeah, I said that that's that's it. How did they meet Johnny? Over on the east side, they were they were on. Um, I forget exactly what Alphabet City, huh? Alphabet City by the bridge. Yeah, I, I'm talking about the, 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 
in I would call I would say Chinatown or whatever. Yes. Yeah, Grand that, Street, yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So that Johnny comes. They join with the with the crest, and then Johnny writes the two songs, "Sweetest One" and yep. and of course my Juanita. Yeah. But later on, he wrote that with Al Brown. Okay, with Al Brown. They wrote that together, right? Now you're involved with Al Brown, but now here comes something—a little bridge here to Coed Records. How does that take place? You're a writer. Burt Keys is involved. George Paxton is involved, and all of a sudden you form Coed Records. That's right, because there was no record company there at all at uh -huh. 1619. No, there was no record company, and and. George Paxton wasn't even thinking about forming a record company because he was a music publisher. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he was a music publisher with Hugo Winterhalter over at RCA Victor, and they had big Margaret Whiting. Do you remember yeah, yeah, the name, Margaret? Margaret? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, all these people were part of us. Uh, that later became Marvin Kane got in there, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and the singer... What you call him and his wife? What were the the, the wife? Uh, uh, oh God, huh? Stephen Edie Gourmet. Yeah, Stephen Edie Gourmet, right? Mm -hmm. And they got in there, and and uh, then Bill Fix got in there, and that was the Ames brothers. So right. we what well, we had Margaret Whiting all the time. We had her over there all the time. A lot but of how, people don't know that name. But how did Johnny Maestro come from Joyce Records to Coed? Because Press. Joyce Records broke up. Ah, and that left that left the crest without anybody. And so you bring them in. Oh yeah, but you I started I started Coed Records. What did Al Brown think when you were starting? To Al pull Brown the Al Brown didn't actually Al Brown didn't say anything about. See, let me explain this to you first. You you missing? You're bringing in all those other people, but you got to remember that Al Brown, right? was with me all the way. Al Brown is on every single record, on Hull Records. Daddy's home, thousand miles away, darling, how long, down on my knees. He was involved it, with you and all of it, it, You see Al Brown's name on, yep, every, on, yep. on every single not, one of but them. But not with Coed. Was he with Coed involved? No, with he, didn't come, no he didn't come over there. He didn't come over there with Coed okay. Records, no. Well, when you get Johnny Maestro in a crest, one of the first songs that you write for him was a, a song called Beside You. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. And here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to watch a little clip with a little photos behind it on something that goes like this. Here's Beside You, written by, of course, the main man here, Billy Dawn Smith. Take a look. We're beside you. Oh, oh beside you. Beside you, beside you, is a love forever true. Beside you, beside you, is a chance for love. Beside you, beside you, beside you. 
Johnny Maestro and the Crest right there. Of course, a song beside you written by my special guest, Billy Dawn Smith. Billy, what a great sound. What a great song. And you were just saying to me something off camera that Johnny Maestro was a special guy. I said he never argued. You know, a lot of singers, they want to do something their way. Here's my right hand to God. Johnny Maestro never argued. Not once on any song he ever did to say, Billy, don't you think we should do that? Nope. He stood there up. I sat at the piano. He looked down and said, I said, Johnny, you I want you to do the song this way. Okay. That was that was, that was it. it. And that was it. We're here with Billy Dawn Smith, of course, Bill Carey, Richard Green, uh, Frankie D. A little bit later on, Paul Ronte comes by. And you're listening to Mickey B right here, Madhouse TV on Mickey B's Jukebox Review. Hang in, don't go away. We got more coming up right after this. <laughs> This is Mickey B. Join me for my Saturday Night Disco Fever Dance Party Volume 2. Saturday, October 6, 8 p.m. at the Memorari Ballroom, 2183A Jackson Avenue, Seaford. Starring Line, Alicia, Barbara Roy, former lead singer of Ecstasy, Passion, and Pain, the Trick Shot Disco Orchestra, and DJ Ace playing all your favorite hits of the 70s. Five-hour disco party, full hot buffet, cash bar. For tickets and information, call 516-822-9612, 516-822-9612, or mickeyb.com. Sponsored by... This is Tom Mealy for 1-800-INJURY-LAW, and I'm going to get right to the point because you know what? When in an accident, there is no time to fool around or waste time going to firms that say, if it's not broke, there's no case. Soft tissue injury is no joke and can last longer and feel worse than a fracture. And if left unattended, you are looking at a lifetime of trouble and or pain. You are entitled to compensation. Listen, most of us on Long Island, we weren't born with a trust fund or a silver spoon in our mouth. Don't. Don't let someone tell you that it has to be broke or you need to be out of work to compensate for an injury sustained by someone's carelessness. The number you need to call is 1-800-INJURY-LAW, the Harrison Law Group. That's 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Listen, take my word for it. We're not in business to lose. We're here to protect your rights. 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll right here at Madhouse TV. I'm Mickey B's Jukebox Review with my surprise guest here today. Of course, Billy Dawn Smith, Bill Carey from the Dan Lairs. Uh, we got the Richard Green here from the Continentals, and of course the Willows, and also with the, uh, with the, uh, right? Yeah, the Willows got everybody. The shoes, uh, the shoes and all. <laughs> of course, the, the shirts. Uh, Frankie D. I mean, Frankie D. When you when you hear uh, Billy Dawn Smith, I mean, there's got to be so many questions to ask. Uh, I'm actually in awe, but I know Billy is considered the, the man who wrote about the Angels. 
But one song sticks out in my head is The Angels Listening. Billy, what inspired you to write that particular song? Well, actually, to tell the truth now, that wasn't my title. I was in three, one o'clock in the morning at 1619 Broadway, and the person that gave me that title, her name was Kathy Lynn. And Kathy yeah. Lynn gave me that title. She said, Billy, I got a title for you to write. They all give me titles, but nobody wants to write a no word way. of the song. <laughs> 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 but anyway, it didn't matter because she was she was a good. She used to hang out with me and Luther Dixon and all mm -hmm. of us too. So at three thirty in the morning, we were still. I will never forget that night because the, the, the song was to me was so beautiful. It came, everything just came and came and came because we were talking about the angels and and yeah. and uh, and and. Uh, in fact, if you you trouble in paradise, you you can go down the line. All all of my songs call it all. They're all yeah. angel songs. They're you know angel I mean? songs, yeah, right? Yeah, that's I'll right. I'll tell you what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna look at one of those angel songs right now. So okay. we take it back with the angels listened in. We got, of course, Johnny Meister and the Crest. Watch this one. <laughs> Listened in back to the co ed record label right here with Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll, making memories and music right here tonight with Billy Dawn Smith. Billy, does that bring back great memories? I mean, oh, you, man. when you wrote that song, tell me, what inspires you to write a song? I don't know. I like, I, you know, without a title, I'd be dead because uh -huh. I love writing anything that has a beautiful title to it. I, I've you know, I can't write a song just saying, I love you. I, I can't. So you start I, with a title first. I, I, I couldn't write it any other way. Yeah. Because, because I have to write about the story on what that means, you know. And I, and I read the Bible, all that stuff. So, uh -huh. you know, I, 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 I get inspired by the title of a song. In fact, all my songs, I know there are a lot of angels, but, but right down the line, you'll never find a bad title. Okay. Even six nights a week. Yeah. Even six nights a week. You know what I mean? It's, and it's not only that, it's the story. What happened on the seventh night? Oh. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> yeah, right. He we got rested. Some, we got some pictures here. Let's take a look at some of these pictures. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. Let's Friday, take a look Sunday, at some of these Monday. pictures over here, the crests and, uh, and of course, some other ones. But we're to bring back some great memories in your life. Uh, here we are with now, the original that. crest with the... Uh, Patricia Vandross. Now, yeah. Frank had asked a question. Patricia only was on the two songs on, on Joyce? Was that it? No. Yeah, well, yeah, I would say so. Because she didn't, she didn't, she never even came to co-ed. Why? I don't know. She, she had a great brother, a brother as a singer. Uh-huh. 
he, I guess he's still the great, considered the greatest. But, but uh, she was, I, I knew that family for 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 her like Luther, yeah, and and Pat and and uh, her sister was used to hang out with us. She now she could sing, she could play the piano. Now sister, take a take a look at this. Sister. Take a look at this next picture. Let's okay. throw that one up. Here we go. I'm going to ask you a question about this. What was your affiliation with these two guys? Here's the Righteous Brothers. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I love them, man. Yeah, but I didn't do them. What right. you call it? Did them? He's in jail now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you had an affiliation. <laughs> they did what for you? They actually did the angels as it is. Yeah, they yeah. sang the song they as well. They sang the song mm -hmm. as well. They yeah. Sang. How did they come to do that? Song? They did a groovy. Uh huh. Uh, I gotta say that they did did a groovy. What you call it had the wall of sound then, and and he tried to Phil you Spector. know he, he yeah. tried to 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 put that dum 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 you know he yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. did he 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 was good Phil Spector was good never paid anybody never paid anybody <laughs> <laughs> no hey Billy how many how many people did record uh, the Angels of a lot you know some of them I got I got I got a list. Cedar made me a list like that, man. And Ralph Cedar from the Hoptones? Yeah, and he, wrote, and, he, and he put down every single Who are some of the other ones? You got the Righteous Brothers? Who else? Uh, well, you got a lot of, uh, I think, a lot of a cappella groups. I, I think uh -huh. the Encounters did. Yeah. They, they, see, I should have brought my, I should have, because I have, I got all, <laughs> I got all the people that, that, that did it. That did it. And there's many. And, and, and they did them, and they did it good. You know. Now look at this next picture coming up and tell me your relationship to this gentleman coming up. Let's take a look right now. Another picture. Now you know that guy pretty well. Oh right? man, that's all through the through through the through the book, man. That's that's Bobby Robinson. Bobby man. Robinson. Tell Bobby us a little Robinson. bit about your affiliation <laughs> with Bobby. Well uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby you know what? I think Arthur who took this? Arthur Cryer or one, 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 was it Arthur Crowley? He was with uh, Fury Records, right? Who? Uh, Bobby, Bobby Robinson? Yeah. All different record labels. Well, right? he, yeah. Oh, he was with Fire and Fury. Fire and Fury. But, mm -hmm. but, but I tell you this. When he took this picture here with me, he was crying. Huh? He was crying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were trying to get rid of him. They were trying to kick him out of the, uh. That the store. Head of the store at that time? Yeah, he, they were yeah. trying, man. And he was with me a long time. And uh, as far as just friends on the street, right? Right. But he did a song. He recorded a song. I think it was the Vocalist, Be True or something. Oh, man. That kid, that, that really knocked me out. We got another picture. Let's take a look at this picture. Bill Carey, you're going to know this picture. Let's bring that next one up here. And Bill Carey will take a look at this shot. <laughs> Remember that shot, Bill Carey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was at the uh, WGBB yeah. Radio, WGBB Radio, uh -huh. when we had, uh, let's name the original guys. You got Jimmy West in there from, of course, the lead of the Dan Lears. Nat McCune John and John Lee. Lee. Nat McCune and John Lee, yeah. the original mm -hmm. Dan Lears. Who was my barber? Who was your barber? Mm -hmm. Jimmy, Jimmy Weston was your barber. Was my mm -hmm. barber for but he years. was a barber before he sang One Summer Night, right? No, he was uh -huh. my, bar my barber all the time that that was going on. Even after the song was out. Oh yeah, he had a hit with it already, and he and still, still cutting my, your hair. Yeah, he still cut my hair. Was he singing a song to you? Yeah, he no, he didn't have to sing. <laughs> a song. But but I, I like tell you, I like one of those. But <laughs> I tell you this, he 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 was a good barber. Uh -huh. He was on Bergen Street right. and Washington Avenue. My bar, which Bill Carey also worked at. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bill Carey worked at the Colonial Inn too. Yeah. Willie Winfield was a bartender at the Colonial uh -huh. Inn too. And yeah. Jackie Wilson's wife was there. Yeah. Mel Estella. Yeah, everybody mm -hmm. was there. But I got to say this. Each group, Johnny Maestro, when my birthday party came every year or whatever it was, every group, Jimmy Clanton came there and yeah. stripped. Wow. <laughs> Don't say it on He's a minister. <laughs> that was back there then. Oh, back in the old days. That was yeah, the yeah. old days. He was a wild <laughs> he guy was, back he, there he, then. He, them yeah. girls in the Colonial Inn flipped <laughs> over Jimmy Clanton. Yeah. And you know who brought who brought Jimmy Clanton there? Paul Case, all the people from Hill and oh, Range, yeah, yeah. from Hill and Range songs, you know, uh -huh. all the Elvis Presley, yeah. the whole yeah, yeah. the whole Elvis Presley. We'll talk Presley about that later on. That well, let's, do some, let's go to 59 right now, a great video okay. clip, as we watch the Dan Lairs and One Summer Night.
One Summer Night right here with Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll on Madhouse TV. And, of course, a great song. And, uh, and uh, Billy Dawn Smith tells mm -hmm. us the story about uh, Jimmy Weston, the one who sang that song, was your barber. That's right. And he did a good job because you still got hair. And Mickey yeah! <laughs> when we come back, we got some more great sounds from, of course, uh, Billy Dawn Smith, uh, Bill Carey, uh, you know, Mr. Richard uh, Green here today, and Frankie D. And you're on Mickey B's Jukebox Review. We'll be right back after this. Hi, this is Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll. Join me for a special oldie show, Volume 2, Saturday, September 22nd, 7 p.m. at the Patchogue Theater, celebrating their 50th anniversary, starring the Duprees. It is in The Brooklyn Reunion, Jimmy Gallagher and the Passions. I don't care for Emil Stuckio and the Classics, The Mystics, Barbara Harris and the Toys, Larry Chance and the Earls, Still in Style, and Directions Limited. For tickets and information, call 516-822-9612, 516-822-9612, or MickeyB.com, sponsored by... about selecting the perfect paving stones for our project. There are so many choices, I didn't want to make a mistake. After all, it is our home. It had to be the most beautiful patio. An exquisite driveway. A stunning backyard oasis. I chose Astro for the largest selection. The best prices. The magnificent displays. The finest service and expert advice. I chose. I chose. I chose Astro. Astro Masonry and Supply. Call 631-242-2567 or go to astromasonry.com. Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobob Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobob Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. For the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Suffolk County Gold Refinery, 631-777-CASH. Right here with Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll, Billy Dawn Smith. I got more papers here about your life. That I am so confused what, what we did here. Did more nuts. But I, I'll tell you one thing about it. It's very interesting. You got a great life. You got great friends, and you continue to write music to today, right? You continue to do that. But you know what? We were talking before about uh, Bill Carey and the Dan Lairs, and Richard Green is here now. Richard, you. Uh, you sang with the Continentals, right? Yes. Also, uh, the Willows. Yes. And now singing with the Dan Lairs. Yes. Right? Tell us a little bit about the Willows. I know that Bill Carey also sang with the Willows, right? Yes. Well, I met the Willows. I met Tony Middleton through Bill Carey. They mm -hmm. they've been friends for years and years and years. Fifty. Fifty years. Yeah. <laughs> Long time. Tony. I've only known Tony like about uh, two, three years. Long. I know Tony, and uh, I've been working with him. Uh, different shows here and there. Bill at one time was working with him for, for a couple of shows also. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at it. We got the guy. He introduced stage. me to my wife. Now wait, you told me an interesting story about Did you hear that? Who introduced you to Tony Middleton. 
Tony Middleton. That's <laughs> right. They wait, say, we got more <laughs> organizations, <laughs> organizations <laughs> like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tony Middleton from the Willows. Well, Tony Middleton, <laughs> was, you, <laughs> Tony Middleton was with me at Coed ever since he started writing on, on when he was in all of the play. Him, Carl Hogan. Yeah. You Valentine, remember Carl? Yeah. All, right. Valentine, oh, yes. all of them were Not with me. Valentine's they all was with me. That were my staff. So what, what did Tony Middleton do for you? I mean, he wrote he and he sang, and, and if you look up his songs, I wrote his songs and everything. So Tony Middleton was with me. Did he do anything on Coy Records? Did he do any uh, background or anything? No, he didn't know because he was too tied up with... Uh, he was with Marty Kraft. Ma Marty Kraft and them, yeah. Mm -hmm. he, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tony's got a lot of But records. didn't he fill in on some of the Crest songs and sometimes, I mean, if you need... Well, the I said song. that. Yeah, I already yeah. said that. Yeah. <laughs> I already said that. You told me that off well, camera. Well, you know Tony yeah. did Broadway also. Yeah. Well, you see, we had uh, the Q's too. See the Q's, Ollie Jones and Abel DaCosta, right. uh -huh. Gregory Carroll. That you remember Gregory Carroll, right? Yeah. Who wrote mm -hmm. Just One Look. Just One Look for mm -hmm. Doris Troy. With Doris, Doris Troy. With Doris Troy. Yeah. 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 And they were all the four buddies. Oh, that's another thing. See, you got you, you, you to <laughs> no, you gotta know the history of them. Of this music. Luther Dixon. Luther uh -huh. Dixon, Scepter right? Records. Lut but Luther 16. Dixon, but Luther Dixon, four buddies. And the four buddies, too. Larry Harrison, four buddies. Well, why, baby, why? Pat Boone, all of them, mm. right? Gregory Carroll, four buddies. Uh -huh. All of them, all, all of them, and all of them born in Jacksonville, Florida. All in Florida. Mm. Every, yep. And then you meet them when they when they come. No, up. I. You, no, they were already in Brooklyn. Uh, Luther <laughs> Luther only lived a few blocks from me, and his wife and my wife became yeah. great buddies. You and, know. And look at all the songs that Luther was involved. Well, you were involved with them up there, right? Yeah. The well, the songs that we have is Lou Dick's music, and that's Luetta. That's that's Lucille, yeah. and his wife is Etta. So Luetta. Those we put the companies in our <laughs> wife's in our wife's name. You know. <laughs> but we were together. We were together a long time. People don't know Luther went through, Luther went through hell. But Luther, is a good guy, he opened up a whole perfume factory in Bermuda. Yeah. See, yeah. no people don't know any of that. No, nobody knows. What were some of the other that songs stuff. that Luther wrote? I mean, besides the Sherelle songs, uh, so Tommy Hunt, right? Did some he stuff wrote, Tommy? yeah, Only Human. He wrote, uh -huh. he wrote, he wrote a lot of stuff for. for he wrote, "What about I Don't Want to Cry," Chuck Jackson. Chuck what about all? Oh, okay. Man, come on. Yeah. Luther yeah. wrote, Mama said there'd be days like this. He wrote a How lot How close of were you with Luther Dixon? Just like yeah. this. Yeah. Just like that. And we she, wrote all of the, we wrote, know, Luther and I wrote all the George Paxton music together. Uh -huh. Right? We wrote Just Born to Be Your Baby, Perry Como, and The Angel Smile, Nat King Cole, uh -huh. Ames Brothers, uh, 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 So Little Time, yeah. Little Gypsy. We go, go down the line. Getting ready for Freddie the Shepherd sister. All this with me and Luther. All this, this is going up If you can keep track of the story, now, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm giving everybody a test out there. All on this, this is me and Luther. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Now, let's go right on the video. We'll talk about Tony Middleton, as very close to you, mm -hmm. and introduce you to his wife and all. Yeah. Right? Here he is right now on stage. Okay. Watch him very carefully. Thank you. Thank you.
Rock and Roll is Finest with, of course, Tony Milton and the Willows and, of course, the man who introduced uh, Billy Dawn to his wife. It's just an amazing thing. Were you happy that he did that, Billy? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 47 years without 47 an argument. Years. Without an argument. It's unbelievable. That's right. Nobody That's where you get that Johnny Mike touch there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a little break. When we come back, we've got more about Billy Dawn Smith, uh, some more about uh, Bill Carey and uh, Richard Green and Frankie D here as we talk about Billy Dawn right after this on Mickey B. Jukebox Review right here on Madhouse TV. Hi, this is Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll. Join me for a special oldie show, Volume 2, Saturday, September 22nd, 7 p.m. at the Patchogue Theater, celebrating their 50th anniversary, starring the Duprees. It isn't fair for The Brooklyn Reunion, Jimmy Gallagher and the Passions. I don't care for Emil Stucchio and the Classics, The Mystics, Barbara Harris and the Toys, Larry Chance and the Earls, Still in Style, and Directions Limited. For tickets and information, call 516-822-9612, 516-822-9612, or mickeyb.com, sponsored by. What is Grand Prix Motorsports? It's a full-service motorsport performance and service shop. It's West Coast custom style, East Coast pricing, old-school customer service, custom-built bikes, all-out performance upgrades, and free towing, too. Grand Prix Motorsports is automobile, motorcycle, jet ski, and ATV, performance, service, and repair. It's online at GrandPrixMS.com. Grand Prix Motorsports, Long Island Avenue, Deer Park. I started in the cabinet business when I was nine years old. Crackmanship is really the key. When it's up game, I feel like going home now, now, now. Fills and turns to luck, words I'm making it, it seems. Sure you have equipment that is precise. These cabinets, these pieces of furniture are now becoming art forms, you know, and these kitchens are becoming art forms. And it's something that the clients have and they can appreciate and enjoy every day.
All right, here with Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll, back on Madhouse TV, Mickey B's Jukebox Review, and uh, we're here with Billy Dawn Smith, uh, Bill Carey, Richard Green, Frankie D. I'll tell you, an hour's going by very fast, but you have, uh, I mean, we talk about Jimmy Gallagher and the Passions. You had an involvement to them. I mean, they were on the Autocon record label. Tell me, how did you meet those guys? Through Autocon, we called Sally Winkler, and, and I, uh, we, we were like this, him and, and him, me and his wife, right? Uh -huh. So they... I forgot how Jimmy and them came into the, into, I forgot how they came into the picture, but they did, um, in fact, my song wasn't the first song, because they, they did I Only Want You. Right. Just to, ju uh, just to be with you. Just, just to you. be with you, right. And I think that we picked my song last, you know, so. This is my love. Yeah, this is my love. Great song. But Yeah, but we did all of those things together. Uh-huh. We, we we did all those songs and everything together. Jim, Jimmy and I, we like this, you know. Yeah. Now, even now, we're like that. His wife, Liz, uh -huh. all of us, we're very close. And uh, Jim Gribble, I, because I had little, little Danny Ardell, and uh, 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 you remember little Danny Ardell? And, uh, and the... Uh, <laughs> He sang with the Dell Vikings too. Oh, did he? Little, little Danny, he died now. Yeah. Oh, little Danny, I know him. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He did my heart, right? Yeah. He did. He did. He was good, man. Uh huh. He was good, and and he goes around telling Billy Dawn that was my first manager. He did. Oh man, please. So you but they managed? Were good. You no, I really didn't you manage. Didn't manage okay. No, they they said I was they their said. manager. I didn't. I didn't. So you you manager. sang. You produced. Yeah. You were an A and R man. Well, I yeah. You were a writer. Yeah. You were an owner. I did all. I did all this. Stuff. And he was accused of being a manager. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a good patient for a haircut. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so you know what we're gonna do right now? Let's go watch these guys. Here they are, right on the stage. We're going back with the Passions, and this is my love, written by Billy Dawn Smith. Back in 1959 and 60. The passions were blessed with a string of hits. Some people choose to call this song Sweeter Than. The actual title is This Is My Love. So go back with us and see if you can recall a hit by the passions from the years gone by.
Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. That was fun. Live right here with Mickey B on Madhouse TV. And of course, time moving by fast. I have a dear friend of mine, Paul Laurenti, and Paul produces. Uh, you manage a lot of groups. Book and groups. Paul, tell us a little bit about what's happening out there now. Whole lot of bunch of stuff all over the country. Got stuff going on in California, the Midwest, Florida. Uh -huh. um, do a lot of stuff I can't do very productions. Also work a lot with LAR Enterprises and some other promoters. Just very quickly, Billy Dawn. We didn't even get to talk about the heartbeats, the limelights, right. with whole records, the desires, B Cows, and that's another show. Five satins. Five satins. Yeah. Can't get it all in. There's another show right, we gotta do in part two of Billy Dawn Smith. And Paul, I want to thank you for putting this together tonight and, and arranging a lot of different talent for us. I have us. a great time doing it with you, Mickey. Billy Dawn, time goes by when you have a fun. I want to thank you very much for coming down and being my special guest here tonight. You're welcome. Thank you for having and me. And we invite you back at another time. Thank right? you for having okay. me. Bill Carey, always a pleasure seeing you. Continue mm -hmm. success with the Dan Lairs and Richard yeah, Green. Welcome. The same thing. My and pleasure. Frankie D, always a pleasure, my co-host right here. What a great we're time. Gonna, we're going to leave with this last song. Billy Dawn wrote this song for, of course, the Crest. The Angels listened in. But he also had the opportunity of singing this song on MGM Records a little bit later on. Until the next time, from Mickey B. Frankie D. And, of course, all our friends. So long, everybody. Here's Billy Dawn Smith. Just to find someone who cares They came down to interrupt Just as I had given up All the angels listened in And brought you near me You know the angels listened in And I loved them dearly They gave me the whole wide world Wrapped up in one little girl My darling But when the angels I searched everywhere just to find someone who cares. They came down to interrupt. That's my God. Well, the angels sent you. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa. Doom, 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 doom. Whoa. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. So long, everybody. Take care. Bye. Until next time. Bye bye. For Madhouse TV, Mickey B's jukebox. Yeah. Yeah. Billy Dawn Smith. <laughs>